In this video, we will explore some ways we can show changes in rank over time. We will use the Superstore dataset that comes with your installation of Tableau, so you should be able to recreate these charts. For the demos, we will rank subcategories by profit from year to year. Let's start with a simple bar chart. We're first going to build a bar chart that shows subcategory profit through the years. Let's drag subcategory over to rows. Let's take profit onto columns. And we're going to break this down by year, so let's take order date, drag that over to columns as well. For now, let's go ahead and change the default properties for profit. So right-click on profit, default properties, number format. Let's just change this to currency, zero decimal places. Let's also add some totals. So in your sidebar in the analytics tab, let's drag over totals. And we're only going to add the row grand totals. Let's move the grand total to the left. So right click on the grand total header, row totals to left. And now let's sort the grand total from the highest profit to the lowest profit. We can do that by hovering over the axes and sorting the profit. So how do we add ranking? First thing we're going to do is we're going to copy profit over to label. And once we copy over, we're going to add a quick table calculation for ranking. So a shortcut for copying this over if you're on a PC, it's going to be control and then dragging the pill over to label. If you're using a Mac, it's going to be a command drag. So let's change this label now on the drop down. Quick table calculation, it's going to be rank. So this is the first variation. However, we can see that it's very messy. It's very cluttered. So what we can do is we can adjust what gets labeled. We don't have to show all the ranking all the time. We can click on label and change the options. So for example, let's click on label. Instead of labeling all points up front, we can select what gets labeled. Perhaps it's going to be the minimum maximum or maybe just the most recent or the selected or the highlighted. For this demo, we're going to use highlighted. So under label, select highlighted. So to complement this, we're going to add a data highlighter to our subcategory. So on the dropdown of the subcategory pill in your rows, show highlighter. So now we don't see the ranking up front. However, when we go to the data highlighter, we can decide which subcategories we want to see, and we can decide to show the ranks at that point. Let's make a small variation to this. Let's duplicate this chart. So right click on the chart, duplicate. Let's clear the highlighter. So instead of showing the subcategories, let's now show the rank instead in our column. So we're going to swap these. I'm going to move the pill with a rank onto rows, and I'm going to move subcategory over to detail. So let's drag this over to rows and move subcategory to detail. Now what just happened? Because it doesn't look like what we've created. The rank is a table calculation. If we go back to our original chart, if we hover over this, the rank has a specific direction. It is ranking a long table down, which means it ranks based on what it sees that is laid out on the rows. However, in our second chart, there is no longer a column of values. So we just need to adjust this. First adjustment is we're going to change the rank. So instead of an axis or a continuous pill, we're going to make this discrete. So instead of an axis right here or a Y axis, we're going to display the rank one by one. It's going to be discrete. So on the dropdown, we set this to discrete. And it's just going to give us a warning that there are no grand totals if we have discrete measures, and that's fine. And this is what we're going to see. Again, this still doesn't look like our initial bar chart. But remember the original direction. It is table down. There is no table down at this point. So we need to adjust the direction. On the pill that has rank, let's click on the drop down. We're going to find this option called compute using. Right now, the ranking that we want is the subcategory for a specific year. Therefore, the choice that we need to make is we want to compute using subcategory. The direction will be the subcategory. That's what we're ranking in a specific year. So let's select that on the drop down, compute using subcategory. So now this mimics our first bar chart. And in this case, we simply just need to adjust our labels. I'm going to copy over the rank onto the label, and I'm also going to change the subcategory so it shows up on label as well. So in here, control drag onto label, and we're simply going to change the subcategory instead of detail. We're gonna click on that icon and we're going to change this to label. And remember that our label only shows up 
when highlighted. So let's take a look at our options again. So under label, it's still selected to highlighted. We're just going to adjust our text right now. We can simply click on the ellipses. So on the ellipses, so let's adjust this and put this in the same line. Let's also add a number or a hashtag and click OK. So what does this look like now? Well, when we take a look at our subcategory data highlighter and we select some of these values, then we can see their changes over time. For example, for copiers, it started out as number seven, then rose to number three. And for the last two years, it's been number one. Again, we can make different kinds of variations when we display a simple bar chart like this showing rank.